Good morning, my friends. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. I'm Mal Williams here at the Coburg Marathon location, and this is Marathon Coach number 1151. We're going to look at a pre-owned coach today. A lot of people have been asking, hey, show us a pre-owned coach. And so we're going to do that. This is a 2008 H3 double slide. It is Marathon Coach number 1151, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's got 61,000 miles, and for those of you who know or don't know, a Prevo chassis isn't really truly broken in, according to Dave Bash, right, until it has 60,000 miles on it. So this guy has just over 61,000 miles. It's ready to go. It's a beautiful coach, and it's $749,000. So let's, uh, let's, let's talk about the outside first. Uh, for those of you who might have comments or questions as we're moving along, Mickey is actually with us today and she's mic'd up. So if there's any questions, feel free to ask and Mickey will be relaying the questions. If I can't answer them while we are live, uh, just um, we'll get to you uh, right, right when we're done, either through Facebook, email, or on YouTube. And uh, thanks again for everybody who's been watching. Uh, we really are enjoying bringing you Marathon Mondays every Monday or Tuesday last week. Um, but uh, we're pretty excited this morning about 11.51. Lee already says good morning from Tennessee. Hey, Tennessee, okay. I know Tennessee pretty well. My sister lived in Clarksville, and I spent some time in Nashville. That was cool. And, and, I mean, you did too. You've got family out there too, don't you? I'm from Tennessee. That's right. So she's from Tennessee. Me, I just have family that lived out there and uh, drove down to Memphis a couple of times. Not to see Justin Timberlake, but to see Elvis. Okay. So 1151, it's got this beautiful paint job. It's, it's modern, but not aggressive. What does that mean? I quite don't know, but that's kind of what I'm gonna say about it. It's got beautiful colors. It's um, kind of a beige, gray. What else is in there, Mickey? Is it, uh, it's got a little bit of an off white. A little pearl. A little bit of pearl. It's a beautiful paint job. It's got the Gerard awnings up top. Let's look at Bay 1. As you're looking at Bay 1, Brian says, good morning, Mal, from Wil Wilmington, North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina. Hey, for those of you who are watching, why don't you comment and check in, let us know where you're at. K-Rob says, good morning. Where, where's K-Rob? I need to know. Let us know where you David guys are at. David says, good morning, and thank you for highlighting a used coach. Woo! We're going to try and do this. We talked about it last week, you guys. We're going to try and high highlight a used coach or a new coach every third show. So every third Monday, maybe even more often, we're gonna try and highlight either a pre-owned coach, a consigned coach, or a new one. Well, this is a 2008 H3 double slide, marathon coach number 1151. All right, bay number one, great for storage. Bay number two, boom. This is what we get into when we're talking about perfect for tailgaters. For those of you who are college athlete uh, supporters, college sports uh, supporters, or if you go to a lot of professional football games, baseball games, this coach would be perfect to take to Chavez Ravine in Los Angeles. Um, good to take to the Chargers. Get, oh, the Chargers are moving. Sorry, I can't talk about that yet. Um, let's talk about Oregon Ducks. You could take this to the tailgaters barbecue it up this actually comes out on a full slide it's an absolute beautiful barbecue all right it just keeps getting better Take Brian, a look. we absolutely knew what you meant and you can email mal at mal w at marathoncoach.com and he will let you know all the details yeah don't forget my email you guys mal w at marathoncoach.com Bruce says Omaha is in the house. Omaha, okay. Well, I know the Oregon Ducks softball team is out in Omaha right now uh, playing for, no, what am I talking about? Um, Oregon State baseball is headed to Omaha, hopefully. Okay, here's the entertainment bay, bay number four, if you will. Look at that, out on a slide. It's got a nice stereo also. Pivot. This is perfect for tailgating, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. Let's go take a look inside. Let us know where you guys are watching from. I love this carbon fiber. Take a look at this. 
James, can you get in there and take a look at that? CJ likes the grill. Oh yeah, this grill, this grill's beautiful. Got storage down here, CJ. Man, this is nice. Enough room. Boy, enough room for all kinds of stuff on there. Okay. So when you walk into 1151, the first thing you're going to notice right away is the marble tile on the floor, the carbon fiber hand railing uh, that was not just on the entry door, but also on the entry up into the salon. You've got kind of a gray and black two-tone seats for the pilot and the co-pilot. And then you go right up into a little bit of carpet in the salon, followed by ceramic tile uh, all the way back to the bedroom. Now, 1151, we've talked about it's only got 61,000 miles, and it's a 2008. This thing has been well taken care of. It's an absolutely beautifully designed coach. It's one of those coaches that, uh, you know, when we talk about not being over the top, it's got great style. This has two sleeper sofas in the salon. Now, that's real versatile, and we're going to get into how versatile that is right now. This also has two bunks. So you've got a bedroom in the back, two bunks in the midsection of the coach, and then you've got two sleeper sofas right here in the salon. Both of the sofas go down to sleepers. There's storage on the back side. A lot of people, oh, I just pulled that out. There we go, pop that back in. Look at that. There While you're showing storage, we have CJ from Atlanta. We have Michelle from Marathon Coach Florida. And we have Marathon Headquarters from up above the production floor in the upstairs window. Oh, excellent, right on. Well. Hello to everybody. Let me see if I can get that back up. Make it click. There we go. Okay. We have a truck driver from Aurora, Illinois, getting oh, wow. loaded for Alabama. Says you're doing a great job, Mal. Excellent. That's Greg. And then Brian's Cheesesteaks wants to know if you can pull the grill out. I know you did um, to an extent. Yeah, the grill slides all the way out. The grill slides all the way out. In fact, when we're done with the video, what I can do is I can uh, take a quick uh, short video and I'll make a comment on the Facebook page to show you how far that slides out. It's really nice so that you don't have to worry about hitting your head or it dealing at all with the bay door. All right, let's move all the way in here because I want to show everybody one of my favorite features. You've got the, um, the dinette here. It's a, a facing dinette. It also has an extension. So you can extend the actual booth out, and this slides out, and you can pop in an extension so you can get more than just a couple of people on each side. You could fit comfortably six on this. All right, so one of my favorite features, when you pick up the Crestron, I always like to show this. If you go to Salon and you hit Theater Start, whatever DVD is in is going to start playing. But first of all, you're going to see all the blinds automatically come down. The lights automatically dim. Down comes the Sharp TV. And it's all set up to start playing whatever is set up on. Usually it's HDMI 1, but whatever you have it set to. This is set to input 1, so it would be, hey, Pete. Pete Sutton's in the house, everybody. So we're just showing everybody theater uh, mode right. in 1151. Well, you might want to, I'm not sure what you have your resolution set at, but it looks like we're getting a little bit of a stutter. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if we want to continue going or just go ahead and restart, the, restart at a lower resolution and see if that'll eliminate our stutter for our guests. Okay, well, I haven't what heard. What do you guys think? Do we have any feedback from anybody? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was just getting ready to um, share some of that. Okay. As so James, are we? Yeah, I think so. All right. So for for everybody, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna switch down to a slightly lower resolution and restart real quick, and that'll uh, okay should give us a few to be. Couple minutes. Okay, so it'll take about two minutes to restart. All so right. So 
David has a question. He's interested in the towing capacity of the coach, and he wants to know if the coaches <coughs> are pre-installed with brake controllers, trailer wiring, and hitches. Um, I would recommend that you have him email you. Yeah, and you it, can get all the stats have it, to him. Have it, yeah, why don't you email me at malw at marathoncoach.com because this is a 2008 and it's a pre-owned. I'm not quite sure what the previous owners had already pre-wired. So uh, feel free to just um, email me and I can get that uh, information back to you. So let's just keep going on. We were talking about the theater. Okay. <laughs> so are we on? We'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> 